CBC News has obtained a new report on racism at the Royal Canadian Mint. It makes sweeping recommendations to help tackle the problem. Some former employees are speaking publicly about the verbal abuse they faced at the Mint. CBC's Olivia Stefanovic is in Ottawa and joins us on this. Olivia, uh, what did some of these employees tell you specifically about the culture at the Mint? Well, Paul, the employees who spoke to me say at times they faced constant racism, sexual harassment, and bullying during their time at the Royal Canadian Mint. And their allegations are confirmed in this report that CBC News obtained through an access to information request. It was commissioned by the Mint to look specifically into the protective security services. So that's one department at the Mint. And this all happened because of complaints that the Crown Corporation received about how employees were being treated. And specifically, one of those em former employees, her name is Joelle H Hainzelin. Uh, met some viewers may remember her because we shared her story on CBC just in the summer about what she went through with racism and sexual harassment. And she sent a letter to the Mint's president and CEO, Marie LeMay, detailing what she went through. We shared her, this report with Hainzelin. And let's take a listen, listen now to her reaction and also her message to the president of the Mint. She should take it very seriously. Um, people are leaving the Mint. Uh, some of the people who contacted me, ex-employees, are leaving the Mint scarred, and some of them have PTSD. Some of them have anxiety. So Paul, Hanselin is happy that this is all coming to the surface now, but she says that she wishes it didn't have to result in an investigation, that the Mint should have just believed the employees when they said that they were going through these experiences. And Hanselin isn't sure that this will make a lasting difference because she says many of the people who made inappropriate comments to her, at one point she was even called a chimpanzee to her face, Paul. She says those people are still working at the Mint. Uh, I, I take it the report makes 24 recommendations. I won't ask you to run down all of them, Olivia, but, but what, are, what are some of them? That's right. Well, two dozen recommendations. They all, uh, they all cover things such as how to improve the workplace culture, training, uh, retention, and recruitment of employees. They really focus in on how to make the workplace more inclusive and a safe place for women and people of color specifically. The recommendations cover things such as, uh, make suggestions such as uh, looking for, for new hires who don't just come from a, from a security background, but who come from other areas of expertise as a way to diversify the workplace. It also recommends anti-racism training, and it recommends that the Mint reinstate exit interviews to find out why people are leaving the Crown Corporation. And, and how is the Crown Corporation, the Mint, responding? Well, we asked for an interview with the Mint's president and CEO, Marie LeMay. She declined, but she did send a statement to CBC News saying that sh the Mint will implement all 24 recommendations from this report. She also pointed out that the Mint has taken action. For example, it has created a new position in protective services to look at diversity in recruitment, and it's also uh, implemented um, anti-bias screening for all new hires. However, there are calls, Paul, for the Mint to go even further. The public service Alliance of Canada, the union that represents many of these employees, is calling for a full investigation. And that's because many of the employees who are coming forward with stories of harassment and discrimination say this isn't just a problem in the Protective Services Division, that this is throughout the Mint. And so far, the Mint hasn't committed to doing a full-scale review yet, Paul. All right. Thank you, Olivia. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News channel or click the link for another video.